Before I start off this video, quick disclaimer. This is a work in progress mod. Please, please, please do not go onto GitHub and tell the devs about all the little problems you're having. Because believe me, they have enough work on their hands. They're doing an amazing job as it is, and the mod isn't finished yet. Like, that's all over the place. The mod isn't finished yet. So all you people that want, you know, have the clean experience, please just wait until the final release. When the final release is out, the devs will give us a simple, easy to use, Installer you just click install and it installs the mod for you. That's not ready yet for all you people that you know Don't care about that stuff Want to see the bugs want to see the little characters doing their 360s and teleporting all around the place like me Want to have some of that, you know laugh about it and Just want to see how the mods doing over its courses Install it, but be wary of all the bugs that are there and Just don't complain Please, do not harass the devs, okay? That's the most important part. Because if you do harass the devs, I will be forced to take down that other video. Because I do not want this going on. Okay? Any problems that you have, comment down in the description. Or go onto my Discord chat. I have a Discord chat set up. I will do my best to help you. A lot of people were telling me that they had problems installing the server. Or running the server, actually. Quick disclaimer. If you didn't buy the game, you will not be able to run the server. You will only be able to join other people's servers, right? And I do not condone cracking the game, so please buy the game. Support, you know, the Subnautica devs. So, this is the Nitrox server folder. I don't think you can actually see it because my webcam's all over it, so I'll just move it to the side. So you want to go into Nitrox, Nitrox server, bin debug. If this folder isn't here, you did something la uh, wrong in the last few steps. So just go back and, you know, redo all the steps and this folder should be created. Right click on Nitrox server and run it as admin. Once you run that as admin, this should show up. Okay. So I can't actually record that because the second I start the server, my CPU goes all the way up and <laughs> the entire video starts lagging. So... Yeah, you turn that on, it's just loading batch data, that'll take a while. Now, here's the part that people get stuck on. You have to go into Chrome, or whatever web browser you're using, and type in 192.168.1.1. It's usually that. You can find it here in CMD. If you press Windows key and R, you can get your run... Uh, you can find this number out by typing in... You can find this number out by pressing Windows key and R, and then here in the run box, you type in CMD. Here you have to type in ipconfig, and it'll give you this. It's this number, right? You can keep that open because we're going to need it for later. You sign in, it's usually admin and admin, or it's at the back of your router, or whatever you're using. You cannot do this on a mobile hotspot. You go into um, advanced or anywhere. I have a NAT-based router. The most important part is you find port forwarding. You have to port forward this port right here. 11000. Yeah, that's it. As TCP. And then your internal host is this. This is what you need, right? This is your internal host. That's why I said keep this open. Okay, after you submit that, okay, after you submit that, what you want to do is you want to type in my IP into Google and you'll get this, right? Once you have port forwarded, this IP you give to all the friends that you wish to join your server. It's your public IP. This is valid anywhere in the world as long as you have port forwarded that server now again i can't start up the server because the second i start it up the entire video is going to go to crap because it's going to start lagging but basically the end line that it's supposed to say is starting nitrox server after it says that you can connect you're ready to go again i'm going to repeat myself what i said at the start this is a work in progress mod please do not annoy the devs about it if you have any problems, I will answer them, because they're most likely simple and the devs already know about them. And I've read the forums, I know how to fix them. I have I know everything, okay? You can call me like your little helper, okay? I, I'll, I'll help you. I'll fix it. We can even do any desk. We can... Just please leave the devs be. They need to work on the mod, they have enough problems on their hands. If you annoy them, they won't be able to finish the mod. So please do not harass the devs. With that said, if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like. If you have any problems, comment down in the comments below, and I will make sure to help you. If you have any more problems, go onto my Discord chat, so over there you can ask, and I will do my best to help you. If you want to see future videos, you know, 
ding my bell, <laughs> and click the subscribe button. It only takes a second. Like, comment, subscribe. See you again in my next video. Peace out. What's up? I have more editing now because of <laughs>